Hey everyone, this is Zovio. I'm sorry for not making a video for about a week or so. It's just I was going back and forth on making this one video so much I got got a bit distracted with my uh, yeah recording editing of things people actually are here to watch. But yes, I I decided to make this video after arguing with countless people about the gunslinger's balance. Yes, I'm. I, I'm arguing on a controversial viewpoint in this video. Just, just go ahead and listen. I guess uh, my loadout is stock shotgun, stock pistol, gunslinger, because I like the shotgun and pistol. Yeah, so I don't really need many more uh, reasons to use those. The reason I'm using gunslinger is because it's different. It's more fun than playing with you know, wrench and guns and wrangler and all the other things. Because, like, Gunslinger made a new, you know, different style of playing engineer, the combat engineer, the going in there and fighting them yourself as if you were a scout engineer. And, uh, no, I, I prefer that. People are saying that engineer doesn't take aiming skills. Well, combat engineer should. It sadly doesn't because uh, Valve instead of uh, making uh, the mini century the way people were wanting it on the official Steam forums or the way that would have actually been balanced which have been now come up with on the Steam user forums they went with something that was very spammy something very weak but still spammy and annoying and I don't like that like you know it's, I, I wouldn't have been a, I wouldn't have done that if I had a level three century. I wouldn't have ran up and bought a demo man. I wouldn't be tr contesting territory from a soldier. No, I'd be trying to wrangle him across the map. But yeah, th this video isn't to say this video isn't going to be about uh, the gunslinger is more fun than stock engineer because that's a lot easier to argue than the gunslinger is balanced but could be better. It, it, in case you can't tell, the mini sentry is really easy to destroy. Like, I destroyed plenty of them. I, like, yeah. High, Highlander soldier basically means I fought mini sentries a lot. Pr pretty much constantly. That uh, is... Yeah, it's the whole, on the flank, there's, uh, scout, soldier, gunslinger, engineer, sniper, and spy. A little side flank area to prevent people from back capping and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, that, that's usually the way it goes. And because, because of, you yeah, know, those, that class composition, soldier is really the only class there that's able to take down many sentries. So you get pretty good at hitting non-moving targets. I must say. Like, I fought them a lot. I, like, it, in case you can't tell, I'm pretty sure I get a lot more shotgun kills and pistol kills than my gunslinger kills. Because, or, yeah, my mini sentry, it isn't there to kill anything. It doesn't kill anything. It's just there to annoy you. Okay, now that, that, that was a, that was a mini sentry kill one. That, that was probably the wrong time to say that, I suppose. But, yes, you see, it gets knocked down very quickly. But it could be better, because it's still spammable. And the reason I like Combat Engineer is because you're rewarded for aiming. You know, I can go over here, just place down this mini sentry, forget about it, it's gonna sort of deny this area until their soldier hits it twice, or their sniper hits it once. But until then, I can run around with my shotgun and be a scout, except still have a dispenser up and be supporting my team. And I like that style of game, or that gameplay style. Like, see, see right here? I, yeah, I, I ambush and kill a medic heavy combo as gunslinger engineer. You don't do that as regular engineer because you have to be healing your sentry. Now, because I like the combat part of Combat Engineer, like, and people are arguing over the mini-sentry, and they do have 
their own, uh, you know, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Viable arguments, that's what I was looking for. Oh, I got a second mini sentry kill. And Sniper takes it down. They have their own viable arguments. I got up, but I didn't really think this up. I, It's sort of based on something I've heard from someone else. Uh, I'm just going to take it as my own idea here, take all the credit. Okay, instead of uh, mini sentries costing 100 metal, and then you can just spam out two of them more if you kill people, instead, they, instead of costing metal, they charge like the buff banner. Like you deal X amount of damage with your weapons, and then you can place down a mini sentry. Yeah, you know, I I like that. It was it was a really good idea to do that. And you know, it, it's not preventing me from protecting my team with my pistol or my you know dispen or healing them with the dispenser because I don't think we actually have a medic this round. Yeah, th this was a pub, so. J just because I'm doing well, keep in mind I also do well as scout, soldier, demo man, sniper, spy, heavy, medic, or pretty much anything else, actually. So, yeah. But, you know, it, because other ideas for, uh, a, like, changing Gunslinger Engineer was to make it so that you had, a like, mini teleporters and mini dispensers as well, but I don't like that. I like being able to support my team. Be it through my yeah, knocking over stuff. Be it through over my own ability to aim, or through my buildings. And you see, in this gameplay, the dispenser saves the point. The dispenser, because we don't have a medic, and we need someone to heal us. See this dispenser right here, just placed right there. I level it up to level two at least, I think, and it saved the point because we are getting healed. It, it's like being a support scout. Yeah, see, they have an Uber. That's not a spawn, that was just lag. So yes, that, that's the reason I use Pistol with instead of Wrangler or whenever I can. I just vastly prefer being Combat Engineer to Turtle Engineer, you know? Oh, by the way, uh, do you have any Engineer mains out there? That is a really good dispenser spot. Like... It's a pain to destroy, and it's really good for supporting your team. I mean, yeah, un unless somebody gets up there, in which case it's easy to destroy, but... Oddly enough, it's not destroyed. It he takes down the mini-sentry, because mini-sentries are incredibly easy to take down. But... Yeah, see, shotgun. I... Like, I, I want more people to rely on their shotgun than just me and a few other people, like... Because there are people in pubs who play Gunslinger Energy, basically, place down many Sentry, run away, place down many Sentry, run away, when it's supposed to be combat-based, and this medic annoyed me. Th this medic annoyed me a lot, because I, I run through here, Sea of Spies! Yeah. Oh, anyway, that uh, hat I'm wearing, the uh, Genuine Crosslinker's Coil, it's from anybody who bought Gunpoint. It's... A very nice hat, I gotta say. I didn't even know it was. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't even realize that it came. That the game came with a hat. I just I bought the game because it was a good game. I I lost my train of thought there. Gone. Yes. But you see, the the reason I like that fix idea is because it does force people to actually be good at combat in order to play Combat Engineer. It's no longer the, you know, pe people saying you don't have to aim to be good at Engineer, you can just place down a mini sentry and crouch beneath, or place down a level 3 and crouch beneath it or something. So it would be a genuinely good thing. And I'm hoping that Valve takes a note of all the people supporting that idea. Now I have to think of something else to say for... Oh, that's weird. Uh, I can't see the timer. Oh, 40 seconds, so I have to think of something to say for 40 seconds in lead with this controversial idea. Okay, so people in the comments, give your own personal ideas on the Gunslinger. I think it could be better, but I don't think it's the overpowered game ruiner that everybody seems to think it is. 
Although on maps like Lakeside, which are just bad to begin with, yeah, you know, it's it's also rather bad there because it can shoot through the stairs, and I'm wishing like something else I, I wouldn't mind about changing from the mini century, making it bigger, like because it's annoyingly small and it can shoot through pop props on some maps. But yeah, you know, that that's not the point of this video. The point of this video was to talk about uh, combat in Combat Engineer. Being able to aim should be a necessity, and I support that idea. It's bringing people together. It's not ruining regular engineer. It's not. It's uh, the demo ended. It's not changing. It's not ruining the support aspects of uh, you know gunslinger engineer, and it's having him actually aim in order to do things. So now what people are talking about are uh, like what would be the proper amount of damage dealt. Uh, my personal favorite one was a uh, was a suggestion by somebody who's really good with balance. Uh, he said a 16 second cooldown, but 400 damage. So like like every 16 seconds you can place down a mini sentry, but you can reduce this with damage. Like each 100 points of damage is four seconds off, and that might sound like a lot because it is. But 400 damage is not all that much to do with your shotgun. I'm pretty sure I did that a lot with this gameplay video. Although I did have a mini sentry out most of the time. But anyway, uh, hope you liked the video. Comment with your own views on the Gunslinger. Uh, like, subscribe, rate. Keep in mind this is just a, an opinion. You know, I'm not trying to say that I... My opinion is better than yours or anything, it's just my viewpoints on it after fighting it a lot and fighting with it. I don't see it as overpowered or particularly broken, especially when you consider some of the other things that are out in the game, like Enforcer and several other examples I don't want to state right now. Uh, if you like me giving my views on a controversial topic, I'll go ahead. The next one will probably be on Sniper. Is that's pr pretty controversial, I suppose. By the way, this has been Zovio. Hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, like, subscribe, comment, favorite, all the other things in life. Dislike the video, then okay. You're not really doing anything if you just dislike and don't give your actual views in the comments. So there, there you go. Anyway, this has been Zovio. Goodbye.